You're looking for trouble, Jefe? I'm here to see Del Toro. He know you're coming. I want to see Del Toro. That's him. That's Del Toro. You are a big help. Hmm. Well, he... he's changed his appearance a fair bit. Well, that's what happens in L.A., I guess. Hmm. Um. Hmm. So recently I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4, and another thing I will say to this game's credit, um, the, the little puzzle sections, they don't happen as frequently as the lockpick and hacking minigame and in Fallout 4 does. What exactly am I supposed to be doing? Okay. Apprehend Del Did Del you hear about Pedro and his girl? Hey, you! Oh. Over there! Ah. Federal agent. Now we'll never hear about that guy and his girl. See anything you like? How sad. Hey, Joe. Interesting that she'd be flirting during like a gun battle. That's. Hey, Joe. Yes. Probably not what I'd be doing. He's got the puta. I haven't done anything, says the guy who just shot the agent he's trying to appeal no, I to. I think it's the... that's from the civilian, yeah. Ooh. Very similar voice, then. Montana. Oh. CTU, get down! Say hello to my little friend. What's that? Only it's a shotgun this time. Mm. Hey, cabron! What is that painting they have three of in this room? Uh, let's take a look. Oh, so I guess it's an advertisement for a hotel. Take cover. I'm guessing this would also be a hotel, just given the amount of payphones that they have to have, apparently. Hmm. Can't go up that are... there. Mm -hmm. Good thinking. But yeah, that and... It, I guess it's also possible that the mob boss is just really stingy. <laughs> hey, you! Yes? CTU. Federal agent. Hey, cabron. Yes, cabron. My mind. I, I think that this is the cabron's friend, but. Oh. Not terribly sure about it. It's Bauer. Jack, I've got the blueprints you asked for. Thanks, Michelle. Jack, try not to hurt anybody. You're in enough trouble with Chappelle as it is. I'll update you when I locate Del Toro. <laughs> no promises. Billions. Federal agent. Okay, um, that guy was... 
Okay, um... Uh, great. It's I... over, Anakin. <laughs> I have the high ground. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Federal agent, drop your weapon! Hey, you! CTU, put down your weapon! Federal agent. CTU. Hmm. I'm impressed by the wind mirror here. Yeah, that's pretty high detail for definitely for PS2. Hey, you. I remember CTU. the one they had in um, Red Faction, the first game. The windows, I'm pretty sure, did work on PS2, but they were in, like, absurdly low, like, double-digit resolution. Drop your weapon. Federal agent. Oh. oh, they really didn't like the federal agent part. Hey, cabrón. Oh. No, not the pizza box. Alice Pizza Palace will remember this. Hey, cabrón. Well, Del Toro's gonna need money. Their synchronized cover act was impressive. Means now I get the. Ah. I get easy. Remember to get the two shotguns and the body armor on the wall. Uh, what? Um, it was in behind you now. Mm. Oh, we gonna... Yeah. Oh, strike. Thank you. Take cover. Sure thing. <laughs> Not what I meant. Uh, it just reminds me of that thing where it's like you you can infer a lot about the the nature of the mind of the player character by the prompts that you get. Bless. Ooh, and see. Hey, cabron! Try some interesting leap. <laughs> These guys are working on like some different schemes to get you to surrender. Thank you for criminal. The criminal took a criminal hostage. How dare he? Doesn't he know that's illegal? If it's illegal, they should outlaw it. Out of the way! So much was he at Antonis. Tony's kick seemed like it could take out Liberty Prime. 
Looking for some gigantic <coughs> fallout robot. Again, this gun battle is not a time to expand your business there, lady. <laughs> I'm impressed that this overturned sofa could stop an AK-47 round. 93, huh? Yes. Sure, let's go with that. That's it now! I'm the one you're after. Now, what do you want? I want to know about Peter Madsen. I don't know any Peter Madsen. He pronounced it correctly. Peter Madsen. Hmm. I need to take a leak. I'll be right back. Fine. Well, I'm surprised we didn't get another interrogation. Listen to me, because we don't have a lot of time. I work for CTU. Why should I believe you? These guys have something big planned, and I just found out what it is. Here. I need you to call CTU. Let them know that the terrorist group that took over CTU is planning to cause a major earthquake. I... Now, I'll get you to a place where you can dial out. And... What do I say? Tell them it's an RGO 4444 synchronizer. It's going to trigger the quake sometime before 10 p.m. CTU should be able to lock onto the signal. You got it? Yeah, I got it. She needs to go now. Let her go on a cell. I don't want to have to walk back up there. I'll take her. I'm not to sell. Don't worry. She won't be out of my sight. Yeah, I bet. <clears throat> Look, there's no cell phone reception down here. You have to find a place of a signal. Keep it short. We don't have a lot of time. She's going to get sidetracked kidnapping someone from the hospital. Hmm. So in the story so far we have had uh, attempted rising and serine attacks, uh, assassination of the vice president who's the acting president and, and now, now an artificial earthquake. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what the objective of all this is. Like, are they still trying to raise oil prices? Hmm. Even though it's the 2000s and oil prices are, like, sky high. The following takes place between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. Ms. Bauer. I just spoke to Kim. Where is she? Is she all right? She's at Madsen's compound, but she's not sure where it is. She sounds all right. They're holding her captive, but she was able to sneak away to make the call to us. Someone on the inside claiming to be with CTU told her Madsen plans on using some sort of synchronizer to set off a major earthquake. What information do you have on the synchronizer? Kim gave us the make and model of it. It's carrier wave base. That's all we know right now. We're still doing analysis. There's something else. Kim took a tracking device with her when she was taken from CTU. Unfortunately, it only has short range. Send me the signal frequency. I know where to look. Mm hmm. Sorry, I'm late. This is Doctor so Jennifer Wright from the Geological Survey. The tracking so device good for? We're up against. It's frightening to say the least. So something like this might be possible. gameplay mechanics. Los Angeles has been built on a series of fault lines. Some of these lines cross forming tectonic focal points. These are the points that would be most vulnerable to such an attack. And where are these focal points located? I'm sending you a survey map now. If somebody were to try to cause such an attack, what would be their best chance at succeeding? Probably large concentrations of explosives set at major focal points. The explosives would have to be buried extremely close to the focal points, which are deep below the Earth's surface. Only industrial machinery would be capable of doing this, and machines that size aren't easily hidden. Unless the machinery doesn't have to be hidden. Michelle, we need to cross-reference the focal points. Of course, Elon Musk is collaborating with the terrorists. Can be pulled from any of the Again? I'll start the search now. Yes. Thank you for your help, Dr. Wright. 
Well, he solved traffic, so I guess we can overlook it. Okay, this alleyway looks distractingly like the start of GTA San Andreas. Coming from? From below the building. What's the problem? What? How does light work? Same way as magnets do. Oh, okay. And yeah, the terrorist group that we're opposed by in this is got their fingers in a lot of different terrorism pies. As many as 40 pies and that's terrible. So it is. But yeah, like the seven snipers, they can easily lose a hundred men with no impact on their operational capabilities. And if they're working for the same people as in Season 2, which is uh, just before this, then they also had like a nu nuclear weapon that they got a hold of, and weird poisons and connections to the president's administration, trying to like depose the, the guy in the wheelchair we saw earlier. And now they're setting off an earthquake with uh, explosives, and God help me, I, I'm pretty sure you would need nuclear weapons to do that with any real probability of success. Sure, how on earth the signal is bouncing around this much unless Kim is being driven around in a car? Maybe the terrorists have some kind of sorcerer that can mess around with the signal. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. And the sun is shining through the planet. <laughs> Turns out it's not the sun at all, it's the nuclear weapon that's detonating. Slowly. Oh, no. Also, at the, at the rate that these people are escalating the tension raising the stakes. At some point we're gonna see terrorists working for oil companies trying to put out the sun by dunking it in a big <laughs> glass of water. Uh, might as well. And somehow they're also gonna kidnap Jack's family again. I have 17 locations where the construction sites with hydraulic drills overlap the tectonic focal points. Only eight of those show carrier frequencies that match the synchronizer. Those are the sites. Dispatch teams. I'm the not sure the kind of we'll have a new earth moving machinery to your average construction site uses is going to be sufficient. Okay. Yeah, if they could trigger earthquakes on this scale that would destroy Los Angeles, I feel like there would be a lot of regulation of them. I wouldn't have called you, but some, something's going on. What? What are you talking about? I, I'm being watched. The same car keeps passing the house. I'm... Did you call CTU or the police? No, you're the first person I call. Lock the doors. Call the police. I'll be over as soon as I can. So yeah, Jack and Kate Warner are in a relationship with the Putsi. More of that in season three. Okay, I feel like there would have been more warning, but yeah. 
I feel bad for anyone who bought this game, you know, without having seen the TV show, just thinking, yeah, this will be an action yeah, game. The layout of Matson's compound for you. And just right, like, so wait, who's now. Kate Warner? As soon as I've got Kim. How do they not see him? If I were you, I'd save state and just see how little the enemy can see outside of the spotlight. Intruder! Okay, that was kind of random. Well, so let's, let's see. Okay, that doesn't work. That's a really powerful, like, gun sound with the silencer. Huh? Intruder! Here? Security alert! Excuse me? I was about to say, they, they seem to accept the invalidity of the alarm pretty quickly, but then... Then SEAL Team 6 just <laughs> leaps out of the hangar. I'm the repo guy, I'm just getting these guns from you. Son of a bitch! My bit. <sighs> oh. Right, I think I'll just... Yeah, that's... That's uh, on par with the guards in Oblivion, just... <clears throat> teleporting, running through the walls, etc. Jack, I've got the layout of Matson's compound for you. Thanks, I'm heading in now. I'll get back to you as soon as I've got Kim. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. What are you doing here? Of his hand. Although it, it looked like he was using it to text someone for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> um, they can see through walls. I cannot but wonder if they just see the corpse by the alarm button and think, nah, <laughs> nothing's going on. At least that's that's the attitude I would take to it. Is, I guess... I guess someone poisoned the alarm switch. Hmm. What's going on? I don't know, the story hasn't really revealed that yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. 
just the way Jack instantly leaps up to, you know, his full height or down onto his knees is... I'm... my knees are hurting just from watching hmm. that. He's right over here. Nope. And again, that's kind of a pet peeve of mine, just the way people crouch so damn much in video games. In truth, I'm here. Dave, Manson wants me to help with the mm. girl. Don't need it. We've already moved her to the incinerator building. She's a struggler, but nothing I couldn't handle. Okay, you got it. No. Huh? Oh, I have a six minute time limit for some reason. Can I? I just love how you put four or five bullets into that guy's chest and he sounds mildly irritated. Mm. I appear to be completely unable to leap over the railing. <laughs> that would be against protocol. And Chuck is picking up radios all over the place for... I mean... You know. They've got good resale value. <laughs> Maybe he'll finally give one to Kim. There's a guy. Hello. Mm. Oops, I I'm pressed just... the wrong button. Well, that happens. Mm. I'm kind of curious now how many times have Jack's wife and daughter been kidnapped in the TV show? Because it's gotten to a point already, and we're only two seasons in. Hmm. Well, two seasons in a video game. But it's gotten to the point where I feel like Kim needs a uh, witness protection program and not, you know, a job at CTU. Ooh. Oh. Let's see. Okay, that was interesting. Every single time it needed to adjust its view to see you again, it started over. Or so it seemed. I'm sure no one will notice anything suspicious happening there. Yeah, especially with the numerous reports coming in of bodies being found. Also, avoid the spotlights, but who is watching where the spots, spotlights are shining? Well, that would be God, the greatest American who ever lived. Oh, you found Kim, did you? Apparently so. Ooh. She wanted must be to... hiding behind a bush. Wanted me to do stealth takedowns. Stealthier than the silenced pistol? Yes. So what's your story? You've only been a part of this group for what, like a half a day? Something like that. Dave? No, Dad. Dave! It's okay, Kim, you're gonna be fine. Your CTU? Yeah, who are you? Agent Chase Edmonds, DC CTU. <laughs> what's going on? None of the teams are finding anything, not even the construction sites. What? How is that possible? I don't know. I right, tell them to keep searching. We're running out of time. They keep googling construction site, but they don't seem to be finding any of the locations in 
Ellie. They have something, a hard drive. They got it from the CTU raid. If the information on that hard drive gets out, lots of agents' lives will be in danger. I'll keep an eye out for it. You need to get to the other side of the base. The following takes place between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. We haven't been able to find any of the bomb sites yet, but our teams are... Yes, sir. I will, sir. Yes? I'm Adam Kaufman. I'm supposed to report to... Uh, sorry. I'm uh, Michelle Dessler. Everything's pretty hectic right now. Uh, you should set up over there. Okay. Do you know KS protocol? I was trained on it at Northern Division. Great. Let me show you what I need you to do. They didn't hurt you, did they? No, not too badly. Kim is weirdly okay with this. Mm. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh. Well, um. Reloading. Alright. <clears throat> Yeah, look up, stupid. Also, now they were using the M4 carbine, which, as far as I know, that's hey, the real weapon. Who are you? see you over there it's a good thing none of these people use their radios to raise the alarm uh, you should have gotten the big scope for your pistol yes That guy was behind hard cover and had an assault rifle. And he loses to Jack, who's standing out in the open with his pistol. <laughs> of course. I'm half curious if this M4 carbine is inexplicably the uh, M16. Hmm. It was... I don't know. Looks kind of beefy. Yeah, and the uh, barrel seems excessively long. Intruder! Yet. I wonder if the barrel is supposed here? to be a suppressor. <laughs> also, that's an odd thing to ask in the middle of a firefight. Yeah, in the middle of like the fifth firefight that we're having. Fine. If you don't come, I'll come. Who are you? It's 
just the way that they keep asking it. It's not the battle cry that they think it is. Okay, I guess it's up there. Just rush the position. What's the worst thing that could happen? And that guy was using a sniper rifle. No. I mean, that's an excellent thing for close quarters combat, right? Sure it is. spot that one guy who was right next to me. A bigger problem from him than it was for you. Okay. I'm hit. Man, Jack could really use a Pepsi right about now. This does appear to be where I'm supposed to go. Well, thankfully, it's not completely open world. Who are oh. you? Hey, uh... Say goodbye to your kneecap. Federal agent. Apparently was a load-bearing element of his uh, career. CTU. Okay. For a moment there was worried that Kim was all the way back at the start of the level and... Uh, need to go. That would be quite a little tour. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, I should have healed. Hmm. Oh. Looks like they'll have to take the gun from his cold, dead hands. So how long does it take for him to, uh, the body to cool down to that level? Hey! What are you doing? Did it take you all the way back to the start yes. of this section? Hmm. Wow. Dude was firing an assault rifle point blank at Kim and managed to not hit her. Oh, all right. You there. Adam Jensen stole all your ammo. I suppose also, I much prefer that they make the person you're escorting weirdly strong mm. than the opposite mistake. Oops.
I do find like that the crosshair thing also has directions for the enemies that are left in the area. Yeah, I agree. Oh, there's a body armor there I completely missed last time. Well, with your health what it is, I don't begrudge you constantly scanning for enemies. I'm I'm kind of curious how many lines there are because when when you were assaulting the place with the Hispanic like gang members the they seem to have a lot more lines than these guys. Hmm. Fair point. Uh, hmm. This I didn't did not pick up the sniper rifle this time. Uh. <laughs> oh. Death sound again. Slightly sick of this. Oh, oh there's your sniper rifle. So, the guy's wearing full, like, camouflage, military fatigues. Is that a hint that the government is behind this? Perhaps, but which government? I'm going to guess the Nixon administration. Ah yes, of course, if they destroy Los Angeles, Whittier will finally be the nation's capital. And that means we can also unimpeach Nixon. Ah, I died just before the checkpoint. Just like the Founding Fathers would have wanted. That or it's a Slovak conspiracy. Really, even be important to you at this point? Well, he has to fill out his uh, his report afterwards. Ah, um, of course. Who are you? Dear report, today I got murdered by someone. I didn't get his name. Please don't yeah. fire me. Sure, or the aim focus on the enemy stick. Is Kim still in the game? Yeah, she seems to be uh, following up pretty well, generally on her own. <laughs> CTU. Uh, I'm sure she'll appear at some point. I wish I could share your confidence. Well, we'll see if we get to the end of the level and the game. What are you doing? CTU. Okay. Far enough away and at times they're moving in slow motion. Ah, uh, well. I mean... You know. Using the... Oh, 
like a lower animation rate for far away it's not the most uh, unreasonable way to help with performance yeah i i forget the game it was just something i found endlessly hilarious with it just the running animation for distant characters had two frames Wait a minute. I'm sure. Okay. Not the best idea. Just how many people are in this organization? Seven, seven and a half. Oh, then we should be close to the end. Actually, it records the stats for each mission. I, I guess we could go through it at the end just to see the amount of people we've murdered throughout the whole thing. Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, that was a nuclear-powered jeep, apparently. Yes. Just like in Fallout. I hope you appreciate the amount of restraint it takes for me to not, like, just go into why I dislike the TV show. Yeah, both me and, st me, me and Steve watched it together and... Neither of us much cared for it. You did chuckle like once with the um, quick repair bit. Yes. Oh, the one chuckle through eight episodes amongst like two people is um not the hoped for reaction on the part of the showrunners, I suspect. Ooh. Okay, Man, that a... fire got loud. Yeah. <laughs> they set up a fucking roadblock. <clears throat> Can you blow up the cars? Because... Given that they use nuclear engines, it mm. seems... There's like a red bit on the bottom of the truck. Wouldn't be too surprised though if it was like a fuel tank bit you could blow oh, up maybe. Truck. Ooh, let's see. Mm. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be exploding. Maybe take a crack at it with the sniper rifle. Why not? I remember that was the thing with the original Far Cry where they decided we will... Okay, that's nothing then. But yeah, they decided we're gonna put explosive barrels in this game, but we're gonna go a little more realistic with it and... They made them green the plastic barrels way. with... Mm -hmm. With the... Like, explosives contained inside sticker on it. Mm. And very few people ever ex shot at the barrels because our monkey brains have come to accept that explosive barrels mm. are red. Oh boy, I, was... I guess I do need to go find Kim. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Well, it's 9 p.m. Do you know where your kits are at? Yes. The better question is, should I care? Not if it's an optional objective. 
So you've cleared the entire map. I'm kind of curious what happens if you Hello. trigger the alarm switch on the on the wall. Mm. Should probably save state if you know before you do it if you do try. Mm. Oh, another body armor. Does that make us buddies? Yes. Excellent. Mm. So this place had an incinerator and lots of packed together paper waste, so this is like a... Oh, wait. Um... Hmm. Oh, I guess... They removed the alarm switches for this uh, level. Of course. Why wouldn't they? I love how they, they have that World War II paint job on there as well. Mm -hmm. It's green with the white star. Star. 84%, huh? Yes. 53 kills. Actually... That would be terrible if the military took casualties like that, let alone a terrorist group. Ooh. Oh dear, Time I'm for going... Going to Chase sequence. Gessler. We made it out of the base. We're headed back into town. Madsen's men are right behind us. Okay, give me a minute. I'll see if we can help. Well, at least... Probably we, are not, we don't even have to just uh, lose the tail given who exactly we are trying to run away from. Jack, they've set up a roadblock just ahead. Mm. I've got a CTU chopper heading your way. Thanks for the heads up. So if the chopper didn't see it, how did they spot the roadblock? Also, who put all this shit on the roads down? Uh, right. <laughs> okay. Um, how That's does uh... one helicopter? Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I, I guess the guy, the cop in the helicopter, has his anti-tank rifle from the war. <laughs> yes. Michelle, I've got Kim. We're headed well, back from course. Madison's base. How are the bomb teams doing? They haven't found anything yet. None of the fault lines intersect with any of the construction sites. Keep at it. Madsen's going through with the plan, so the bombs are there. A DCCTU agent by the name of Chase Edmonds is still at the Burbank compound. He's gonna... You're calling from Burbank? Yeah, why? I'm picking up your signal from close to Pasadena. How is that possible? Let me refresh my system. Something's wrong. Now your signal's originating from Canoga Park. The system's been compromised. When Madsen infiltrated CTU, he must have placed a scrambler on the system to make sure we couldn't locate the bombs if we found out about them. But a scrambler? That would have to be hardwired in order for it to operate. The system would have picked it up. No, it wouldn't have. The electromagnetic pulse disabled the security. He could have done anything he wanted to the system. I'll have a level 12 diagnostic initiated immediately. I'll call you back. Holodeck safety features are offline. Yeah, like that. What we watched of the series, they didn't have this much techno babble. They did have some bizarre hacking stuff. And the phone tracing was weird. Yeah, they tried to trace a phone in season one and 
you know, this is CTU, so it's an anti-terrorist group, but they needed a 20 minutes, half an hour to, you know, for a call to last that long for them to be able to trace it, which, um... Not many calls are that long. Also, from what they were saying... The, uh... The pedestrians were weirdly at peace with um, the apocalypse happening on the road next to them. <laughs> and based on what they were say, saying in the first season, it, oh, it seemed like uh, they were claiming that if you have like a, a crypt, encrypted file, you could uh, somehow separate out a small section of it and decrypt it by itself and that would be like easier than uh, decrypting the entire thing which is wrong on so many levels okay just celebratory ramming a fucking semi truck into the back of your car there so we've again recorded for almost an hour so should end this one all right see you all on the next one Unless I see you first. That sounds improbable. <laughs>